Painesville judge known for handing out unique sentences is at it again after a young couple lied to rescue workers. Dan Haggerty joins us live today. And Dan, what was the punishment? They're always creative. Yeah, this one's uh, no different, Danita. A little backstory. This couple was reported missing on the Grand River, floating down the water, no life vest. When rescue crews got there, they found the couple, but they were already safe on the banks. They questioned them, and the couple lied, said, you're looking for different people. So that's exactly what rescue crews did. They kept looking for hours. Well, now the couple's caught. They're in trouble. They're in front of a judge, and they have two choices, go to jail or deal with the other consequence, which is both public and embarrassing. You know, the whole thing turned into a, almost, uh, almost a disaster. Painesville Judge Michael Sicanetti is known for interesting sentencings. How about in 2005? This woman was convicted for abandoning 40 kittens in a park and was sentenced to spend a night in the woods. There was also a man sentenced to stand next to a pig in public after using that word to describe his arresting officer. And this teenage couple was forced to walk the streets with a donkey after stealing baby Jesus from a nativity scene. And in 2007, this man was ordered to dress like a chicken and hold a sign after being busted soliciting a prostitute. Sicanetti showed us his latest idea, boating safety pamphlets and signs. The timing was perfect. Uh, this was it. We're at the beginning of the boating season, and, and what a better time and what a better example than to have these people out there passing out brochures and emphasizing the fact that you need flotation devices. And of course, they're going to be doing a little bit more than just handing out pamphlets. There's some theatrics involved. The couple is going to be standing in a wading pool in bathing suits with life vests on, handing out this literature, and it's at a busy event, the International Cuisine Event at, Veteran Par at Veterans Park on Saturday. Embarrassing, yes. Jail, no. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. Thank you, Dan.